Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. We are in Tsukiji Fish Market, which is this extremely crowded fish market, super famous. All of its fresh food, fresh fish. You can eat just about anything here. Tons and tons of people though. It's nice to be out of the rain. It's super sunny today. Quite a few things today, so stay along for the journey. Maybe the best cut of meat I've ever had. It was like 1800 yen, which is what? 12 bucks? Yeah. $12? Kind of expensive, but I mean, totally worth it. Um, it just had like crazy marbling and the texture was the softest meat I've ever had. And we got it for cheaper than some of these like outside shops where all the people are hanging out just because we were in a small alley. So take some random turns and you'll find some amazing like hidden gems for sure. Kanpai! I've got some unagi and scallops. Is it good? Very good. Delicious. Grilled. Had to come back and get one more. The most tender, juicy meat ever. Oishi! Oishi! <laughs> So this is Wine Stand 88. They are amazing. Thanks so much, you guys. Okay, I've actually never been in a taxi in Japan and don't know how to call one. So I'm just gonna do this. Oh my gosh, is it working? Pretty expensive, but uh, it's cool because they're like these old fashioned yet like highly advanced uh, cabs. So we hit a double whammy. We were gonna go to this museum and then we were gonna go to a robot cafe but both had reservations that we needed like yesterday so we weren't able to get in so now we're just grabbing gyudon at yoshinoya which is a chain gyudon restaurant which still is gonna be pretty good i think i was still hungry after that so i got some mushroom miso soup a delicious strawberry Sandwich, egg salad sandwich, and a coffee. Altogether, this was about five dollars, and my lunch was four dollars and eighty cents. So, a lot of food for so low cost. One thing I wanted to mention, if you are planning on coming to Tokyo, is Tokyo is a huge city with a bunch of different smaller districts located inside of it. So when you're planning your trip, it's really important to just get an idea of what you want to do in each district. So yesterday we spent a lot of time in Asakusa. Today we're spending a lot of time near Shibuya, Shinjuku, and Tsukiji. And there's just tons of stuff to do in each of these districts. So make sure to get an idea of where you want to stay and where you want to be surrounding those different districts as there's just so many places to explore out here. Meiji Jingu, a shrine of national prayer for peace and prosperity. The shrine was lost during the war but was reconstructed in 1958. Feels like it's like a central park in Tokyo. I know they do wedding ceremonies here. I'm pretty sure it's considered a very sacred spiritual area. in this square every day. 2,500 people in this square every two minutes that cross this street. This is Kirby. They're just mad chilling. Can you attach his tail? Yeah, it's this one. This 
looks so hard. <laughs> I reserved a uh, really deluxe sushi dinner tonight. So we are in Tamagawa, which is about 20 minutes in the outskirts of Tokyo. $150 per person. And it's called Ginza Onodera. It's supposed to be very private, very deluxe, very nice. Right at the bar, we get to watch everything. They assign like two chefs per room and this room only has 12 people in it. So it's very private and very uh, personalized. Bye. They gave us the sake in this cool little vase looking thing. And then they served us this shot of salty smelling, they call it crab soup. Bunk fish liver. Snow crab salmon roll. He is preparing all of our dishes. Don't even know how many courses there are. I don't think we know what's going on, but it looks so, so good. So exciting. Look at this beautiful sea urchin and custard. It's called tailfish. Dried fish roe. I wish I was more sophisticated with my culinary vocabulary. Everything was curated very intentionally, but it just tastes amazing. Beautifully marbled and fatty. Golden eye snapper. It looks like a scallop, a raw scallop, but shrimp. Akami. They even uh, angle the fish, the food that they send you, that they give you, depending if you're left or right-handed, so it's easier for you to grab. Every little detail is just being accounted for. It's called gizzard shad. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, swordfish. He doesn't even know how to Okay, we got roe. Raw egg, fish eggs, yeah. Not sure what else. Minced tuna. Something about eggs. Something about moisture. <laughs> Carrot. I don't know. Freshest miso. Clear the palate for dessert. Green tea. Red bean paste with gold flake and tofu. Custard. They were so attentive to everything, whether we were eating from our left or right, left or right hand. We had probably 20 plus servings. The fish was the highest quality I've ever, ever seen in my life. I never knew that little things like the difference in the soy sauce could be such high quality or the miso or just things like they made the wasabi using shark skin to grind the wasabi it was just incredible. About $150 a person, but definitely beats two days ago at Sushi Ro with the dollar sushi. With that being said, we're gonna go back to our Airbnb on a full stomachs and we'll see you tomorrow.